for watching the startup video on the Fujifilm FinePix F500 EXR camera. This is a new camera for 2011. This video is going to show you how to get this, uh, this camera up and running uh, with the batteries inserted, the memory card inserted, and taking pictures for the very first time. Firstly, um, this camera includes rechargeable uh, lithium batteries, an MP50 battery actually, and we highly recommend you charge these batteries up prior to use, although there is a small charge in it. Uh, if you want to fully charge it, that's the best thing to do before getting started with this camera. Luckily, I've done that prior to shooting this video. So first things first is to grab the camera, and on the bottom of the camera is the battery cover. I'm going to slide it forward, and it flips open, so it's spring-loaded to, to go out. Now, to properly insert the batteries, what you want to do is to follow the guide of the orange tab there with the orange stripe on the battery. So by following the contacts going in towards the camera and the stripes matching that tab, okay, I'm going to do that and it's going to go in properly and it's actually going to clip in place so the batteries do not fall out, okay. If I want to remove the batteries, of course, I just push this tab down and the batteries pop open and I can actually just take the batteries completely out. I'm just going to put that back in again. Okay, good. Second thing to do, of course, is to insert your memory card into the camera. Uh, I have here with me just a standard 2 gig SD card. The camera does accept SDHC cards as well as the new, newer SDXC cards, which are the cards um, that have higher capacities than 32 gigabytes. So it can accept that. If you are planning to record HD video, because this records 1080p uh, full HD stereo sound video, we highly recommend you use a class 6 card or higher. That's because the card needs to be fast enough for the camera to write to, otherwise it will be interrupted during the video recording. So if you took a video and it stopped around 10, 20, 10, 20 seconds, you know you don't have a fast enough card uh, in order to record that HD video, okay? Let's insert the uh, card into the camera. You want to follow the diagram. As you can see, there's a little uh, a clip just like the SD card showing you here. Front to front, back this way is incorrect. If I do it this way, the card will not go in properly, so make sure it's inserted. Do not jam that in. Going in this way, I'm going to insert that into the slot. By doing that, again, I'm just going to show you the, in the camera, push it down, clips in place. If I want to eject the card, I push in again, and it pops open for me to actually pull that card out. Again, I'm going to put that back in, push up, slide it down, and now the camera is ready to be turned on. How do we turn the camera on? Two different methods of turning it on. You can hold down the playback button, okay, and by putting down the playback button, the camera will turn on. You can also use the on and off switch, which is on the top of the camera, which is I'm going to do now. So I push the button on, the blue light goes on, and if this is the very first time you turn the camera on, you'll notice that you'll be asked a couple questions for basic setup. Basic setup. The language you can select by using this directional pad, by rotating it, or by pushing up and down. It's all your preference. The rotating actually is pretty fast. And again, you can see that it has tons and tons of languages. I'm just going to select English. Okay, the second option is to check the power management option. I like to select clear display because it gives you a very fast refresh rate on my screen, although it does eat up a little bit more battery, okay? That's okay. And the camera turns on. Now, it, does, it didn't ask me for the date and time. Is That's because the camera, uh, I did turn the camera on prior to this setting. Um, and so when you do get uh, asked that, you can easily stack the date and time. If you missed that menu, you can go back to the menu OK button. I can go to the setup. And then I can select date and time to adjust the date and time if I missed that. So that's sort of how the date and time works right here. I can check the different formats, the different dates. OK, it is not 9 p.m. There we go. I'm going to go back out again. So now I have the camera on. You notice the flash turned on and moved up automatically. If I don't want to, if I want to disable flash, just push it down, and it should hold. Um, there we go. Now, mind you, this camera I have is just a pre-production model, so that is not 100% working. But on your retail model, that will be easily uh, pushed down. I can flip it back up again just by doing that little technique. Flip. Cool. Okay. So for this demonstration purposes, let's take a picture for the very first time. The camera has a shutter button on the top of the camera. Easily taking a picture, just push it completely down. And because this is our EXR model, it does have a very fast dual core processor as well as a, a regular core processor for other functionalities on the camera. That's why this camera has such a very, very fast shot-to-shot uh, -shot time as well as a very reduced shutter lag. So when I push it completely down, it just takes a shot, okay? Now, ideally, when you take pictures with a digital camera, you want to push the button halfway down. By pushing halfway down, it pre-focuses. There you go. 
And if I want to take the picture now, I push all the way down, and it takes the picture. And it helps actually to reduce shutter lag. Halfway down, halfway down, boom. Zooming, zooming out is the little control in the front here. I can zoom in, zoom out. As you can see, very cool. 15 times zoom, starts off at 24 millimeter wide. This is wide angle shot right here. Take a shot. I want to zoom in on the picture now, 15 times. Whoa. And face detection is actually working. Look at that. Push halfway down, focus, and take the shot. Isn't that amazing? Um, even at full zoom, this camera has an extremely fast focusing motor on it. It's actually due to the EXR CMOS technology that allows for very fast focus speeds. It's actually equivalent to a hybrid autofocus system that was found on a previous model, the F300, in terms of speed. So you can see at different zooms, it actually focuses extremely well. Okay? So I'm going to take it a shot. Zoom in. All the way down to that low shot. Boom, take it. Isn't that cool? So let's take a look at images now. Now we know how to take a photo and zoom in, zoom out. Push the playback button to do that. Uh, as you can see, images are shown on the screen. I can actually rotate this dial to go through the various images. I can rotate backwards. I can actually push left and right as well. So it acts as two different options. And if I just hold it down, you can see it zooms by really quick. OK? So now that I want to zoom, uh, uh, scroll through images, let's zoom in on an image and, and pan through that. So using the zoom button, I can zoom in on an image to whatever I like and move up and down by using the directional pad, and I can really check my focus or check to see if anyone blinked. I can go all the way in and all the way out. If I want to get out completely, I push display, and I'm back out again. Okay? Now, to quickly delete an image, there's actually an instant delete option on this camera here. Pushing up, it's going to say erase OK, push up, and I push OK, and that image is now deleted off the camera. Okay? If I want to delete a bunch of images on this camera, because there's a lot of shots I didn't really like, I can go into the menu, Scroll down to erase, so I can rotate up to you. Um, then I'm going to push right, and again, I can rotate or I can push up and down. It's all to your preference. I can delete the current image that's showing on the screen. I can delete all images, or I can actually select some images to be deleted. So I'm going to do that for you right now. It shows up as little thumbnails. I can push up. I don't like that image. Push OK. It's now selected, little green check mark. That one I don't like either. Push OK. And that's two images out of the rest of the images um, I want to shoot. Then it says here, uh, push back to uh, finish. So I push back. It's telling me I have two images selected. Do I want to delete it? I'm going to push up, OK. And those two images that I selected are gone. OK, that's a quick look at getting started for the very first time with the Fuji FinePix F500. Mm -hmm.